I think that's what it's listen it whatever works for you but I would not go on a date with a guy and split it just I am an old-fashioned girl I don't think there's anything wrong with a bit of old-fashioned romance and if you ask me out on a date you should pick up the bill so is that a case that if, if the man's organised it and booked the, booked the restaurant, then he should always pick up the bill? Or is this just the first date or...? Yeah, I mean, if he's organised it, yeah, absolutely. And, yeah, of course. And, you know, you, you make your own rules. But for me, you buy dinner and then if we go on for a drink, I'll buy the first round, no problem at all. But you ask me on a date, you pick up the bill. It's romance. Yeah. And this first date's debacle was an absolute <laughs> outrage. What an unnecessarily negative way to end a fantastic date. It put me right off her. She was there, you know, all chest out, like, no, no, I'm a good woman. I pay for myself. <laughs> and it was like, actually, you were mas not only are you emasculating the man, but you're making yourself really aggressively, unnecessarily negative, and... You've, you've ended on a real sour note. There were some little inter inclinations that he was going to maybe go on another date with her, so there was a perfect in maybe for her to say... To turn mm -hmm. it around. When he oh, said, oh, you enough. get the next one, she should have been like, you know what? Oh, there's a second date on the cards. You know what? Deal. Mm. And then you bring it back again. <laughs> Lauren is shaking her head. Yeah, you on, disagree man. completely. Yeah, What's your stance on I this? I definitely then? think that date should always be halved, especially a first date, more than anything a first date, because a first date is when you're... It's kind of you're putting the feelers out, you're getting to know one another. And a, a lot of dates now are organised via online dating mm. and apps and you've never even met the person before. You're, you're not necessarily being asked out. You're deciding to go out together to see whether you get on or not. Um, I would never, ever go on a date assuming that the man would pay. If the man offered to pay and insisted then I would kind of say, sure, but, like, let me get a drink or let me take us for dessert somewhere or something like that. But, but that's the difference. I, would I never... don't date online. I date, like, gentlemen. I go out and meet real men. So when I do go on a date with them, I know I've got the measure of them. Mm -hmm. Like, for me, online dating is just... You, you don't meet for a first date. I would say you meet, like, for a coffee to see if there's yeah. chemistry and then you go on a date. But it's just... You're meeting a stranger. It's madness. Like, get offline. Get out there, meet real but people. But Nadia, and it is Nadia, because I mean, what you don't want to do on a date is call your date the wrong <laughs> <laughs> True. Great start. Yeah. Um, uh, what you don't want to do is, is, is keep it going, because, I mean, is it infinite? Is it all the dates? Is it every single time? Because, I mean, do you have a certain type, Nadia? No, but it, can't, it all comes out in the wash. But in general, and this is a complete generalisation, I have to because I can't talk specifics. In general, of all the women I know, they date only if they see potential in you. Mm. They don't waste their time. But I know plenty of men that will date just to pass the time and they have no intention of taking it further. They just are happy to be in female company and go on a date. So in the beginning, how, do you, how can you tell whether you're a potential or a part-timer? Mm. By letting him lead. Let him ask you out. Let him romance you. Let him woo you. <laughs> and then it, he can prove to you that actually he's the real deal. Do so you think that, Lauren? Because what happened in that... The, the, the awkwardness in that conversation was because neither of them could reach a standpoint. Well, I think... Do you think in the, in the tradition, it means that, like, like um, Nadia's saying, you can have somebody leading the way. No, I think... Well, the thing is, he showed a disregard for what she wanted to do. So he came across as rude and... So he did she. said that he was a gentleman, but he didn't behave like one. When she said, I want to pay for... I want to pay for food that I've ordered and eaten. I mean, that's... To me, I think it's unreal that anyone would think that that is unreasonable at all. And I know women who... You know, and they're not ashamed to say, they're like, well, if I went on a date and the guy didn't pay, I would be turned off. I wouldn't want to see him again. I wouldn't have a second date. I would. I wouldn't I have a second date. Awful. I absolutely I wouldn't absolutely have a second date. If it's not? going somewhere, though, if you've got an amazing chemistry and you think, oh, this is, this, he could be the one, surely you want him to just be like, or you, may, you might go, oh, should I go and no. reach for the bag. No, you just can't do, do the fake reach. reach. Do fake no, the fake reach. Don't do the fake reach. Because it always comes back to bite you in the bottom. No, it's worse. If you offer to pay, it should always be a genuine offer. Yes. I would. I always offer to pay, but then I, I, don't. I wouldn't go for dinner on a first date. I think it's quite high pressure environment to go for dinner. And if they're weird, then you're kind of stuck with them for three courses. But if you if you go for drinks, you can take it in turns. Did getting you rounds and you had a coffee with a, a particular chap that went a little bit wrong, didn't it? Yeah. So he was lovely. 
Um, <laughs> so lovely. <laughs> so lovely. <laughs> so lovely. Yeah, yeah. He was so nice. Yeah, we went, <laughs> we went for a quick coffee. Um, he asked me back to his and I declined. Um, so he went off home, asked to see me again. I said that it was lovely to meet him, but he just wasn't... I just didn't feel that chemistry. I'm a big believer in romance to my detriment. And um, he messaged me and said, I'm sick of wasting my time and money on women like you. If you're not going to see me again, please, can you transfer me the money for the coffee <gasps> I bought you? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know yeah. who you are, whoever that horrible <laughs> yeah. man is. And it Shame was, on you. And it was how much did you have to reimburse him? I didn't reimburse him. Oh, you him. didn't? didn't how much oh, did he did want? He no, I actually texted... I messaged him back and I said, I'll give you the chance to regain your decorum. I'll donate the cost of the coffee to a charity of your choice. I'll even bump it up to a fiver to cover your bus fare. And um, he responded with his account number and sort code. My goodness. <laughs> me.